Hello friend, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in AutoCAD 2018 metric. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 007 underscore DIADM where you save it. You can also download the, this file on the website or follow along with your own file. If you don't have access to any file, just sit down and watch the video. In this tutorial, we're going to create the opening for the windows and doors for our house plan. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the line command. Make sure that the 2D wall layer is the current layer. Hold down your shift key and right click. Select mid between two points. Select these points and this point. Use the perpendicular object snap and snap into this point. Press escape. Press enter to start the line command again. Zoom in into this area. Right click and select mid between two points. Snap from this end point and this end point. Use the perpendicular object snap and snap to, the, to this line. Press escape. Press enter to start the line command again. Hold down the shift key, right click mid between two points at the specify first point of mid click on this point at the specify second point of mid click on this point use the perpendicular object snap and snap to this line press escape press enter to start the line command use the midpoint object snap and snap from this midpoint of this line and snap to the midpoint or perpendicular to this line. Press escape. Press enter to repeat the line command again. Use the midpoint object snap and snap from this line and use the perpendicular object snap to complete the line. Press escape. Press enter to repeat the line command. Zoom in into this area. Draw a line from this point to this point. Press enter for end the line command. Press enter to repeat the line command again. Draw a line from this midpoint to this midpoint. Press enter to end the line command. Press enter to repeat the line command. Draw another line from this point to this point. Press enter to end line the command. Now zoom out and zoom in into this area. Press enter. Start the line from this midpoint to this midpoint. Press enter to end the line command. Press enter to repeat the line again. Start the line from this midpoint to this point. Press enter. Press enter to begin the line command again. Start a line from this point to this point. Press escape to get out of the line command. Now go to the home tab, modify panel and select the offset command. At the specify offset distance point, type 450 mm. Press enter. At the select object to offset point, select this line, offset it to the left. Select it, offset to the right. Select this, offset to this direction. Select and offset to this direction. Select, offset to this direction. Select and offset to this direction. Zoom in and to this area. Select this line, offset to this direction. Select and offset to this direction. Select this line, offset to the right. Select this line to the left. Select offset to this direction. Select offset to this direction. Select this line to this direction. This to this direction. Select this line to this direction. This to this direction. This line to this direction. This to this direction. Press escape to get out of the command. Now press enter to repeat the offset command. At a specified offset distance point, type 900 millimeter, press enter. Zoom in into this area and offset this line into this direction and this into this direction. Press escape. Go to the home tab, modify panel, select the trim command. At the select object or select all prompt, press enter. O trim off this line trim off this line these lines these lines use a crossing window to 
trim off this line type R on your keyboard and press enter for the erase option select this line this line this line zoom out and zoom in into this area select this line this this zoom out and zoom in into this area select this line this line this line this line if you select a line accidentally hold down the shift key and select it again to deselect it press enter to erase the object and autocad return you to the trim command press escape to get out of the command go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command at the specified offset distance from type 375 millimeter press enter zoom in into this area select this line offset to the left select it offset to the right select this line move into the left and type 300 millimeter press enter select this line move to the left and type 900 millimeter press enter press escape to get out of the command select the trim command and select these four objects press enter trim off this line this polyline and this Press escape. Select this line, this line, and hit delete on your keyboard. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the trim command. Press enter. Trim off this line, this line. Trim off this area. And trim off this area. Type R on your keyboard. Press enter. Select this line, this line. Press enter. AutoCAD erase the object and return it to the trim mode. Select this line to trim it. Trim this line. Trim. Trim. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the offset command. At a specify offset distance from type 150 millimeter, press enter. Zoom in into this area and select this line. Offset it up. Select this line, move up and type 750 millimeter, press enter. Zoom out and zoom in into this area. Select this line, offset it up, and select this line, move up, and type 900 millimeter. Press enter. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the trim command. At the select object or select all pumps, press enter. Trim off this line, this line, this line, this line, this line, this line. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, draw panel, and select the line command. At a specified start point prompt, use the line, start the line from this point to this point. Press escape to get out of the command. Select the offset command, type 900, and press enter. Offset this line into this direction and offset it into this direction. Press escape. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the trim command. Press enter to and trim off this line. Press escape. Select this line and hit delete on your keyboard. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the uh, offset command. At a specified offset distance from type 300 on your keyboard and press enter. Select this line, offset it to the right. Select this line and offset it to the left. Select this line, move to the right and type 1200 millimeter. Press enter. Select this polyline, move to the left, type 1200 millimeter, press enter. Or oh, the line goes to the wrong direction. Type U on your keyboard and press enter to undo the last offset. Select the line, move to the left, type 1200 millimeter, press enter. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the trim command. Add a select, add a select object or select all prompt. Press enter. Now we need to extend this line before we do the trimming. To do that, if you look at the command 
line it says select object to trim or shift select to extend hold down the shift key and click autocad temporal transparently put you in it and the extend mode click when you release the shift key autocad goes back to the trim mode trims off this line this line this line trim off this line this line this line this line press enter to end the command zoom in out and go to the home tab modify panel and select the trim command press enter trim off this line this line this line this line this line select this line 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 select this line this line press escape to get out of the command now use a window selection and select this line go to the home tab modify panel and select the mirror command at a specified first point pro first point of mirror line point use the midpoint object snap and pick move the mouse cursor into the left and pick press enter to accept now type bi on your keyboard and press enter zoom in into this area at the specified first point prompt, click at the end point of this line. At the specified second point prompt, move the mouse cursor and click. Now select this line and this line. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the move command. Click anywhere in the drawing area and move the mouse cursor to the right. Type 150 millimeter. Press enter. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the trim command. At the select objects, at the select object or, or select all prompt, press enter. Trim off these lines. Press escape to get out of the command. Now go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the offset command. For the offset distance, type 150. Press enter. Select this polyline and offset it to the right. Select the polyline again and offset and move the mouse cursor to the right type 900 millimeter on the keyboard and press enter press escape now select this line in this line these lines this line go to the home tab modify panel and select the exclude command select this line go to the home tab modify panel and select the exclude command go to the home tab modify panel and select the trim command at the select object or select all prompts, press enter. Select this line, this line, zoom in into this area, trim off this line, trim off this line, and this line. Zoom in into this area and trim off this line. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the offset command. At the specify offset distance prompt, Type 150 millimeter, press enter. Zoom in into this area. Select this object and offset it to the right. Select it, move to the right. Type 900 millimeter, press enter. AutoCAD override the 150 to the 900 millimeter. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the trim command. At the select object or select all prompt, press enter. Now hold down the shift key and click this line to extend it. Click this line to extend. Release the mouse button. Now AutoCAD will turn you back to the trim mode. Select this line, this line, and trim off this portion. Press escape to get out of the command. Type DI on your keyboard and press enter for the distance measure this distance from here to here the distance is 1180 so now go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command 
type 900 millimeter and press enter for the offset distance select this line and offset it out press escape now select this line move the line and use the grip to move the line perpendicular to this line click this grip and snap to this perpendicular to this line now select these two lines click on hold down the shift key and click on this clip and this clip now release the shift key click this line and move it and snap into this end point press escape to deselect the lines go to the home tab modify panel and click the down arrow select the joint command at the select objects Add a select object or multiple object to join at one point. Click this line. Add a select object to join point. Click this other line. Press enter to end uh, to complete the command. Zoom in into this area. Let's draw a temporal line from this point to this point. To do that, go to the home tab layer panel and click the down arrow. Select the cabbage layer. Go to the home tab draw panel and select the line command. At a specified first point point, use the endpoint object snap and start a line from this point. Move the mouse cursor and start another line into this area. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab modify panel and select the line command. Hold down the shift key right click mid between two points. At specify first point of mid, use the intersection object snap and click here and move the mouse cursor into this. Use the end point object snap, click snap into this. Use the perpendicular object snap. Press escape to get out of the command. Press enter to repeat line command. Use the midpoint object snap and snap from this point and use the perpendicular object to complete the line. Press escape. Now go to the home tab, modify panel and select the make current button. At the select object whose layer will be current point, click on this line. Now go to the home tab, modify panel and select the offset command. At the specifying at the specify offset distance or through erase layer prompt, type layer, type L on your keyboard and press enter for the layer option. As the at the enter layer option for offset object current source prompt, select the current option. At the offset distance prompt, type 1500 millimeter on your keyboard and press enter. Now zooming into this area, select this line. Move the mouse cursor and offset it up. As you can see, the source layer is on the cabbage layer. The offset line is in the current layer, which is the 2D. Word. Select this line and offset it down and select this and offset it up. Select this and offset it down. Press escape to get out of the command. As you can see this line gets off the point. So to bring it back to correct this error, select this line, go to the Home tab, modify panel, and select the move command. Zoom in into, into this area at a specified base point point. Use the endpoint object snap and use the endpoint of this line as the base point. At the specified second point of displacement point, zoom out a little bit so that you can see the bottom line. Now move and snap to the endpoint of this line. Auto card, move the line. Select this line and this line and hit delete on your keyboard. Select this line, use the grip editing, click on this grip and move the grip to the perpendicular to the external line. Press escape to get out of the command. Now go to the home tab, modify panel and select the trim command. At the select object prompt, press enter, trim off these lines. Press trim off these lines. Type R on your keyboard and press enter. Select this line, select this line, press enter. Auto guard erase the object. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the line command. Start a line from this midpoint to perp perpendicular to this line. Press escape. Type O on your keyboard 
and press enter for the for offset type 450 millimeter press enter select this line this line offset it up it goes down but that's not bad select this line and move up let's escape to get out of the command go to the home tab modify panel and select the trim command at the select object or select all prompt press enter trim off this object press escape to get out of the command now select this line and hit delete on your keyboard zoom in and out to examine your drawing now we need to create more windows in this area go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command at the specify offset distance from type 150 millimeter press enter select this line and offset it now select this line move down type 1800 millimeter press enter press escape to get out of the command Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the trim command. At the select object or select all prompt, press enter. At the select object to trim or shift, select to extend prompt. Hold down the shift key and extend this line, this line. Now release the shift key, trim off this line, this line, this line. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the offset command. At the specified offset distance from type 750 millimeter, press enter. Select this line, offset it down, select this line and offset it up. Press escape to get out of the command. Select this line, move it and use an end perpendicular object snap and snap. Select this line, click the grip, the grip turn red. Move it and use a perpendicular object snap and snap. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the click the down arrow, select break at a point. AutoCAD asks you to select the object. When you do AutoCAD break the, the object into a point, select this line and move the mouse cursor to this intersection and click. Now this line is being break into two. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select click the down arrow, select the break at a point. Now select this line, move the mouse cursor and snap into this intersection. We took out break this command, select this line and hit delete. But there is another command which you can eliminate all the need to erase and break. Select the break, this break between the two points. At a select object prompt, move the mouse cursor and select where you want the first break to be. Click. Now move the mouse cursor down and break. Use the fillet command and fillet this line in this line. Now go to the home tab, modify panel and select the offset command. At a specified offset distance point, type 25 on your keyboard, press enter. Select this line and offset it down. Select this line and select this line and offset it up. Press escape to get out of the command. Select this, select the trim command. Press enter. Trim off this line. This line. And this line. Press escape to get out of the command. Select this line and this line and hit delete on your keyboard. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the trim command. Press enter trim off this line, this line, this line, this line. Hold down the shift key and click to extend this line. Click to extend this line. Trim off this line. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the quick access tool and click the save as button. This will bring the save drawing dialog box. The name this file to 00 underscore 008 underscore DIABM and click the save button this way the current work will not going to override the previous work we are going to end this tutorial for now then we will continue later if you find this tutorial useful please click the like button and share it to your friend if you have any question or you want a specific tutorial please leave a comment below
if you want to follow along in this series or any other tutorial on my channel please subscribe thanks very much for watching i hope to see you in the next class goodbye